All set? Trick? Can you? Okay, welcome. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, softening techniques. You'll hear me from time to time talk about a softening technique. Well, what is it? Well, a softening technique, uh, by definition, is, is uh, any technique that will take uh, the mind uh, of your attacker off what he's doing just for a second so you can either escape or, or counter, okay? So, for example, if he came up, my attack came up, did a, a double lapel grab, okay? He's got both his weapons tied up. He's trying to strong arm me. He's probably bigger than I am. So well, it's a softening technique. Well, it might be a palm strike to the nose, okay? That, that gives me a fraction of a second to uh, escape or or whatever, okay? He comes up from behind, right? Nice softening technique, groin strike, okay? Um, that's gonna take, I guarantee you, that's gonna take his mind off what he's doing just for a, enough of a uh, length of time for you to do your um, self-defense technique or get away, uh, escape the, the grab, whatever. Um, and just remember, You've got 10 fingers, he's got two eyes. You know, if you throw your hands up there, you're bound to hit, to, you know, odds are, you're bound to hit an eyeball, okay? Uh, ears are very tender, okay, if they grab you, <laughs> okay? Uh, say they came and grabbed you from the front, okay? Good softening technique is either knee to the groin, okay, so this is not really a good position, or what, just, Back here by the kidney, there's a lot of tender area. <laughs> and all you're doing, okay, I'll be soft here. All you're doing is grabbing a handful of skin right here, okay? And that will, for sure, get them to release. Another, another one is just the skin uh, right behind the tricep here. If you grab that, okay, that will, that will get somebody released. Skin behind the thigh, okay? Uh, something as simple as a foot stone, okay, right in the arch of the foot or, or the toes will get them to cringe just enough to where you can uh, get your escape. So for my um, young, young folks and smaller frame people, even something as simple as a, a grab where he's taking you away to his white kidnapper van, all right, you've got a lot of, a lot of options here for softening techniques. You can strike the bicep, okay? Kick the groin, kick the back of the thigh, right? Eye gouge, okay? You can even slap, you know, chop the wrist here. Um, and this is gonna just weaken him just enough to, for you to get away. There's a lot of nerves on the neck. And I mean, I'm just giving you a lot of different options. I mean, I want you, to recognize there are a lot of options. And if you can just feel on your own body where those, where those uh, points hurt, they'll probably hurt on somebody else, okay? And it just gives you just enough time to escape or um, get out of the grasp of somebody that's stronger than you, okay? So kind of experiment, uh, try not to do it on your loved ones, okay? Do it on yourself. What happens when you pull on your ear? Don't hit yourself in the groin, okay? <laughs> I guarantee that will, that will hurt, okay? But there's, there's a couple places in the groin area uh, going underneath and then going right up here, what we call the pubic plexus, which is straight in front. And uh, that's probably even more painful than going underneath, okay? So lots of, lots of options, okay? So when I'm talking softening techniques, it's a mechanism to get you out of a situation where uh, somebody is stronger than you and overpowering you, okay? All right, have fun with that. Sure. Can you see you next time?